the truth is offensive yeah, now, right? Yeah. You're a man. <gasps> Yeah. Like, uh, no, I'm wearing a dress. You know what I'm saying? That, like, literally, got, the truth is now considered offense. That was our first tie together. Uh, Logan uh, asked me on, on, an, on Impulsive. He goes, Harry Styles is wearing a dress. He goes, isn't that manly? And this is, I, <laughs> I was on the podcast for maybe like a week or two. Like, I'm very new to the podcast. <laughs> so I just go, manly? I'm like, I don't think that's manly at all. And I, I made jokes. I go, when you go to a department, you don't go, I really want a nice dress. And they go, yeah, it's in the men's department. They go in the women's department. I got reamed for that. But mm. me and you tied in because you said the same thing. And I said, who's that? Like that. Because I was like, yeah, who is that? Who's saying that? And you tweeted out. You're like, tell your friend who's uh, irrelevant that I'm so sad. I was like, no, no, no. We're on the same side. Like, I, I was on your side. And I was like, oh, fuck. I'll, I'll apologize to her later about that. So I wanted to apologize. <laughs> no, it wasn't you. It was me. It was it, me. No, it was, it was another person. That was next to him. Oh, you were talking about Mike? Mike? Yeah. This whole yeah, time. Yeah. This bro. whole time she was talking about you, she's talking about Mike? Yes, bro. Yeah, because That's he said, so I remember watching this clip and he didn't just say, like, oh, who's that in a dress? He said it was, it was actually regarding BLM. And he was on his like pro BLM pitch, Paul, uh, Logan, Logan Paul. And he basically was saying that my perspectives on it. I don't know what he was saying, but essentially he was very pro BLM and they were trying to say that I was deranged for being a black person who held a different viewpoint. And yeah, I was, I tweeted like, what are you even talking about here? And I was like, I don't know, know who your friend is. For years I'm walking <laughs> yeah. around be like, don't, don't, don't get out of bounds, bro. <laughs> no, it wasn't Don't you. get out of bounds. No. So this is my point of view, right? I don't think it's manly if a man wears a dress. Now, if a man came up to me and is like, I think it's manly to wear a dress, I would say, okay. I, wouldn't, I don't need to argue with it. So I don't understand that. The, like a lot of people want to stand up for what they believe in. But as soon as I speak about what I believe in, it's wrong. Yeah, because they're lying. But right? I just don't get so, that. How do we get to a friendly argument? Like, How do I get to somebody that has these viewpoints and be like, dude, I get it. You think that wearing a dress on a cover of a magazine or, or these men acting like women in and, and, and movies and, and uh, I, Cat Williams was talking about this. Everybody has their own points of views. But I've never in my life ever heard somebody else's point of views and got so upset mm -hmm. that I was like, no, they need to see it from my point of view. I think that's what makes the world beautiful, bro. Even the people that I truly don't even agree with, it's at least we could get on a common ground and be like, yo, I don't agree with you, but could you at least respect my, my mm -hmm. opinion? Actually, you know, if we had that, if we had an agreement that, you know, if we were respectful in that way, I feel like then the school system wouldn't be so messed up the way that it is because then we would respect the fact that there are two sides and mm -hmm. one side wouldn't only be taught, right? Mm -hmm. Both sides would be taught and then the students would be able to make their decision as to where they want to go. Right. But that's not the case, right? Well, the uh, reason that people get upset, just to kind of answer your question of why that is, you only get upset when you're lying, Right. The lie hates hearing the truth, always. So if you say something that is so obviously a lie, that a man dressing up as a woman is manly, you're going to be upset when someone says, no, that's obviously not manly. <laughs> that's not an example of masculinity to cosplay as a woman. Yeah. And so they then turn into... Marxists, they then turn into George Orwell's 1984 and they're like, I have to force you to not believe your own eyes, right? And they get tremendously defensive because they've been exposed as a liar, right? Not because these are two different ideas, right? It's not like when you're not lying and you're like, oh, I really like, I think the, the white couch looks better to the left. Oh, really? I think the, the, the couch looks better to the right. It's a difference in opinion, right? Mm -hmm. But when you're outright lying, it comes with anger and it comes with defensiveness. So in that moment, which I didn't see, if Logan Paul is literally saying something that is so absurd and so untrue, if he actually thought that wearing a dress was manly, he would do it. I say, dude, 100%, you should do it. You should yeah. wear a dress tomorrow. That's what I would have said. You should wear, you should wear a dress tomorrow. You don't want to do that. Do, do, oh, I don't, was he going to say, I don't want to be manly? Is he going to say that? I don't want to be manly? No, because he knows, he knew, I think some of his ideas have shifted over the years because those lies are no longer serving him as he's getting more into boxing and MMA and, and that's like stuff that is just, you know, it's weak. It would be cool if he admitted now, which I'm totally fine for people to transform over the years, I, I think he probably kowtowed to leftist pressure when he took the BLM stance and took all of the Marxist stances going on. But you want to be a man? F the dress. Apologize for lying, right? Because people listen to you, right? And when you say stuff like that, when men lie, it renders them weaker. Men should never lie. It's better to say nothing than to allow a lie to come from your lips.